and Jonathan Morris, Fox News contributor, who joins me now. Jonathan, great to see you. Yes. Uh, we're Thank told you. that millennials are leading this shift away from organized religion. So the question be, uh, is, how do you get them back to the church? Yeah, well, um, if you first of all, just a couple more uh, pieces of data. You know, right now, mm. Christian believers in the United States outweigh non-believers, so either atheists, agnostics, or unaffiliated, two to one. Just in 2007, it was five to one. That is a massive change. Oh. Massive change. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry that it's a little bit loud here. I'm in the middle of Paris right now, getting ready to celebrate the New Year. Oh. But um, oh. here we go. How do you get? How do you get people back? You know, I don't think it's a, about making church just more interesting. Listen, there's a lot more interesting if it's just about um, entertainment, uh, other things to do. But it's two things. One is having people have an experience of God in some way or another. It doesn't have to be within a church. An experience of God. That can happen in so many different ways. And secondly, people come back to church when they go through terrible times and there's no place else to turn. So I would prefer people to have an experience mm. of God in a positive way outside of deep suffering. Sometimes it takes deep suffering. Right. Good point. Next one for you, Jonathan. Uh, yep. This is interesting. Pope Francis reveals the secret to a happy marriage in just three words. He says the power of saying please, thanks and sorry cannot be underestimated. Mm. So, Jonathan, you've been married a little over a year now. Are those <laughs> words to live by? <laughs> You'd have to ask my wife. That's the first response. <laughs> but uh, I, I think there's a lot of wisdom to it. Let me explain it very briefly. Please. That's mm. just a sign of respect, right? And when we get used to relationships, we can get used to treating someone without deep respect. Please, what the second one was, thank you. What is that a sign of? Of gratitude. It's hard to keep a sense of gratitude when you're so used to something. Day in and day out in marriage. Day in and day out of family life. You know, I was changing a baby's mm. diaper at maybe eight times today. Hard to say thank you. But gratitude, right? And then the <laughs> third one, the third one, Ash, is sorry. And what is sorry? Sorry, sorry means something very simple. Sorry mm. means that I am humble enough to recognize that I'm not perfect and I need to ask for forgiveness. So number one, please, it's respect. Number two, right, is thank you, gratitude. And number three, it's I'm sorry, which is humility. That, those are pretty good things. Mm -hmm. Even without asking my wife, I can say Pope Francis has got it down to a T. Words to live by. Jonathan Morris, great <laughs> to catch up with you. Happy New Year to you, sir. Thank you. Happy New Year to you.